Overwatch gamers have had a couple questions about the 5v5 format. One question, namely, is, is Blizzard going to finally bring back the 6v6 format? Watch this video to find out. Hello everyone, it's BG Tinders here, and we have some exciting news about Overwatch 2. Uh, exciting for some, maybe not exciting for all. It appears 6v6 is making a comeback. Uh, a comeback with a few unknown caveats as of now. But before we get into what we're gonna see in the near future or the distant future, that's part of the news. Uh, let's go over why we are here today. Why are we, why are we in Overwatch 2 doing 5v5 format according to Aaron Keller. Yes, aside from 5v5 being, you know, the delineating factor between Overwatch 1 and Overwatch 2, making it a different game, since we don't have the PvE coming, uh, there's a few reasons that Aaron Keller has outlined in a recent dev blog post. Uh, and, you know, we're going to check it out. Let's just summarize that thousand plus word blog post let's 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 whittle it down to some of the main arguments for why 5v5 is in existence according to the devs um one reason is it made matches more readable or it's less noisy for players and spectators with one less player on the map one less hero namely a tank it makes it easier for players to see what's going on and spectators as well uh i don't know you get to determine if that's true or false uh but i think the math checks out if you have one less tank in you have one less shield going on one less character emitting crazy amounts of particles uh yeah it'll be easier for you to see another reason they outline is that there would be less shields and less cc less shields i can buy that i can buy the less shield angle the less cc that's up for you to determine i'm a support player uh, I don't really get crazy amounts of CC from where I'm standing, but that's why I don't play tank because I'm not trying to get stunned, slept, spanked, spanked, stunned, spanked, spanked again. It just, it just seems like a nightmare to play tank and that's just not my vibe, dude. I'm trying to aim. I'm trying to game, uh, not trying to play narcolepsy simu simulator. I mean, let's, let's be real. Let's stop beating up on the tanks for a second, and let's talk about how the DPS felt with 6v6. Uh, well, in the past, when you have two tanks, it was a little tougher for you to get to those sweet, sweet supports in the back line uh, if your tank was playing the game properly, or your off tank. Um, you would have to fight through the frontline tank, beat through that, fight their shield, and then get to the back line and see if you can crack the supports in the back line. But it was quite a bit to get through. Uh, and that made these very small windows for the DPS to make their plays. So a lot of DPS players felt like tanks, tank synergies, and how the supports were very focused on healing that would undo all their efforts. Is it a skill issue? I remember playing Overwatch 1 and dying a lot. That could be a skill issue, but uh, yeah, I mean, that's that's what they cited in the blog post. And for my crowd, the support crowd, uh, their negative note for why 6v6 was a little tough or a little annoying for the player base was because you were really focused on healing, just a lot of healing. And I can kind of attest to that a little bit. Uh, you get in a game, if you try to think outside the box, be a little creative, play it a little bit your own way, have some freedom, lay some damage down, people would throw a fit. They would throw a fit. They still do. I mean, they still do from time to time. But uh, really, they're saying you're kind of really pigeonholed into focusing on healing. Um, not for people like me, because we don't care what you say. If I see a sweet pick, I'm going to go for it. I don't care how you feel. 
Get good. Find a health pack, bro. <laughs> LOL, fam. Another thing they cited was tank synergy. Some tank synergies were not fun to play against. Um, you know, agreed. But I, I really feel like that's a challenge for the dev team to figure out how to balance tank heroes or not give tank heroes abilities that kind of suck the fun out of the game. Um, it's going to be a difficult challenge for them because you really have to be strategic in how you design your heroes. Uh, but, I mean, yeah, sometimes the tank synergies aren't fun. I mean, sometimes it's just not fun. I mean, like, in general, I don't know if I can really put it on tank synergy, but, yeah. So all those things kind of lend it to this concept that 6v6 had very high highs, very low lows. Uh... Yeah, I could see that a little bit. Um, I mean, Overwatch still has high highs for me and low lows. Uh, they're a little less high and low, so the band is a lot, you know, more centered in the middle. But I mean, yeah, this is more of a design thing. This is more of a balance thing. Uh, good luck on trying to figure out how to do that. Uh, but yeah, I mean, they, they did cite that that kind of inconsistency with the high highs and the low lows kind of caused them to kind of lean or give 5v5 a chance. La, 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 lastly, lastly, uh, they cited Q times. Q times being an important factor. Nobody wants to play tank. Nobody wants to do that. Nobody likes it. Tank ain't really that fun. So there are a lot less tank players queuing at any given time there's always going to be a support player there's always going to be a dps player but there's not always going to be a lot of tank players so that is what's really dictating the queue time overwatch has millions and millions of players right now so it's not the player base it's not concurrent gamers it's not that's not the issue but the issue is tank is just insufferable to play for a lot of people there's a few sickos out there that enjoy being really big and being cc to hell but not me so yeah so they talk about tank queue time really dictating how fast queues would go and if you remove one tank well it makes it faster for you to find a game how faster uh they gave us a nifty little chart but i'm not quite sure how that translates in this current time so yeah q time was another reason now that we've outlined all the reasons that have been listed in that very long but short blog post thank you aaron keller for that what are the challenges that may come with changing from 5v5 to 6v6 and what will it look like so Let's talk about some of the challenges that may come with this. A lot of the challenges kind of come with optimization, uh, especially on older platforms. So PS4, Switch, Xbox One. Switch really, I think, is the only one that's gonna struggle. PS4, Xbox One may, but there are a lot stronger systems. But there's a lot of particles. There's a lot of shading going on. It's very nice, very beautiful game. They dolled it up and they made the orange maps very beautifully orange and the dark maps very beautifully blue. There are a lot of abilities that are going on and these abilities apparently are demanding on systems. So older systems may struggle dealing with all the visual upgrades and the more technically demanding hero kits that come with it. Another problem that may occur is something that was very much highlighted in the blog post was the queue times again. Uh, queue times are going to be brought up a lot. I don't like waiting for long games. That's why I stopped playing Tarkov as much. I think they're doing a lot better with that. But the addition of the of another tank may slow things down much too slow for some gamers so uh they're trying to be mindful of that they don't want to frustrate the 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 current player base with very long queue times because come on dude we're trying to play overwatch we're not queuing in 
And we're not trying to escape from Tarkov. We're not trying to go and load up loot pools and all this nonsense. We're trying to go in, get smacked by a Reinhardt hammer a little too hard, and then have a D.Va fly around and suck up all the cool abilities we're slinging to win the game. That's what we're trying to deal with. We're trying to get in and get out. They also are considering the player base that came in with the 5v5 system. I don't know who you are. I don't know what took you so long to get to play Overwatch. I've been playing Overwatch since the PlayStation, what, 4 beta for Overwatch 1? I can't remember which one it was. It's so long ago. So, you know, if you just came in in the 5v5 format and that's all you know, 6v6, it's it feels different. I'm not going to lie. It is, a, it is a different game. I don't want to say even say slightly different. It is a different game. So... They're being mindful of their 5v5, their 5v5 crowd, and as they should. I mean, you got to support this. You got to make it fun, as fun as possible. And there are millions of people, and millions of people means there's going to be so many different opinions. Well, I mean, those are the main challenges outlined in the article. Um, so let's get on to what 6v6 will potentially look like and how it will be tested and implemented. So to start on how it's gonna be tested and implemented, they're planning a few events, uh, you know, quick play hacked, that nifty little game mode. Uh, they're gonna create a 6v6 version of hacked, uh, but apparently it's gonna not be that 2v2v2, two tanks, two supports, two DPS. They're thinking of ways to make it less rigid, but they're also trying to not make it so open that it's like playing open queue. I don't know what that means. So hopefully it's not one tank, three DPS, two supports. Actually, I think that if, if they're going to do something like that, like still make it kind of weighted a certain way, I would probably prefer that because you do not want three supports running around. Uh, you do not want that. that that'll be a nightmare. But yeah, so think of it like that. They're trying to make it a little bit more free form for everybody, but at the same time, they want to keep that rigidity so you can have the consistency within your matches. This quick play hacked 6v6 isn't going to be the only time they test it either. They're talking about having multiple tests being run on the 6v6 system with the current player base and the current Overwatch 2 system. So, you know, starting around season 11, so that's late October, that's when they're gonna start introducing these events where you're gonna get access to 6v6. Uh, will it look the same as the past? From what I'm reading, probably not. I hope they give us, you know, OG Overwatch 1 6v6, at least in one of those rounds because I think if we're gonna start, we should start with a control. If we're gonna do an experiment, let's control. Let's let's go back to what we knew worked in the past and then afterwards start introducing these funky versions of 6v6 if we really have to do that. But starting season around, starting around season 13 and that starts in late October. So expect, you know, a couple of events testing out the 6v6 format. Uh, they're looking for feedback, and of course, they're going to get it from YouTube videos to Twitter comments, Reddit, all that good stuff. I'm sure they're going to find all types of reviews on this. Um, and also, for optimization reasons, because that's very important to them, expect this or don't expect 6v6 to stick right after these events. They said it would take a few seasons for it to fully be integrated back into the Overwatch system. Understandable, millions of people, bunch of different platforms, Overwatch's good name. You you, you kind of want consistency, especially if you're selling a bunch of stuff. Like, you know, Overwatch 2 really isn't about the PvE experience. Obviously, it's more about the sh very intricate storefront. So, yeah, so it's gonna take a couple seasons, a few seasons uh, to get it right. So, now that we've gone over all the news, sweet, sweet blog post, uh, how do I feel about this? Well, I mean, it's exciting. I, I just like new things. Uh, do I hate 5v5? Not really. Uh, not really. It's still Overwatch. 
It's a little different. It's a little bit more room. It's a little bit more spacey for you to operate, but it's still Overwatch. Uh, 6v6 will be a blast from the past. It could be really fun or it could really suck. It's really fun when you're able to play who you want and experiment and, you know, try to find fancy ways to win games. It's going to suck as far as meta implications. But I just think metas suck in general. It kind of strip the fun out of a lot of gaming uh, or competitive gaming, it strips the fun out of things. Not a lot of color when you have the elite six that you pick or the elite five that you pick and you stick with it. That makes things kind of boring unless your hero is part of that six or five. So, you know, for me, 5v5 is fun. I'm sure 6v6 will be fun. Um, it's Overwatch to me, man. I mean, I, I played it since the beta. Uh, it's It still has the same-ish vibe to it. Uh, I wasn't really good in Overwatch 1. Still not the best in Overwatch 2, but I'm much more mechanically uh, able to do things. So, yeah, I, I'm just interested to see what it's looking like, and I always like new and exciting things to play. So you're not going to get a nice soapbox moment for me like you get from a lot of overwatch gamers these days but to be fair they play this game for like six to eight hours a day and i'm sure that would drive anyone bonkers i don't think you're supposed to be playing a video game for for that long uh, every day i you know especially as a career you need to switch it up or you're going to be driven crazy I, I some of this is yeah the game is a certain way and it's not fun but other parts of this is you're playing a video game for a lot of hours bro like of course the dopamine ain't gonna hit if you're playing so long so yeah I, as far as my opinion goes i'm excited to see what happens uh I'm also a little weirded out by the way they're talking about introducing it. Not the quick play hacked event, but more so we're not trying to go the original path. We're not trying to make it rigid. The 2 2 2. We're trying to, but we don't want it to be like open roll queue. So I'm curious to see what that means. It can mean literally anything. So we'll see how that goes. That could be really fun or it could really suck. But that's what experimenting is all about about so yeah 5v5 6v6 uh is it gonna be a complete switch i don't think so there might be a 5v5 queue there might be a 6v6 queue but probably not who knows because you don't want to split the player base up too much because they're scared of queue times already so i doubt they would do a duo queue system it just doesn't make complete sense but yeah how do you feel about the upcoming news of the 6v6 uh, events and its re-implementation into Overwatch 2. Uh, do you love it? Do you hate it? What would you rate it? I'm not Anthony Fantano. Don't sue me, dude. Um, hit the like button if you like the video. If you watched it this far and you disliked it, uh, that is tough. You, you, you are bored or you... I don't know what to tell you, but hit the dislike button if you didn't like it. Uh, leave a comment on how you feel. I'm sure I already said that. Share, subscribe. I'm streaming. I'm creating a video around um, uh, the PlayStation 2. Uh, that's what I kind of grew up with. Not really. I'm kind of old, but it's one of the pivotal systems that made me love gaming the way I do today. So I feel like making a video on that. Plus, I'm tired of people talking about uh, how my opinion on how games are boring is wrong. So what we're going to do is research. We're going to have a bunch of research and we're going to get a whole bunch of the history together. And then I'm going to form my opinion with points and all that good stuff. So you nerds can just tell me that I'm wrong again anyway. But at least you'll get a couple of video essays about it. So working on that probably going to stream that as well not probably definitely going to do that so hit the bell um and thank you for watching